Peace, power, and protection. Come on in. Come on in. Peace, Empress. Mm -mm. I done been in Matrix Hell. Matrix Hell. Greetings, Empress. Greetings. But I motherfucking done got through that storm. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Don't nothing else matter but ascending because on some real shit. That's all that got me through that. Y'all, you know, when you go through something and you're going through it, you want to fight or flight. So, you know, you thinking, you analyzing. Thank you, Empress. I'm fine. My family fine. We out of there. Um, we made it to Columbus, Georgia, and we in an Airbnb there until at least the end of this week so we could see which way the next storm gonna go and then we'll see if we need to extend it out a little bit i'm just thankful that i can i have the ability to do this i feel sadness in my heart for all the people who are stuck who don't have the ability to leave and are having to deal with this you know, <clears throat> I knew it was coming. I know more is coming. I know it's going to get worse, not better. And when I say worse, I don't mean worse for us, but I mean that this has to end. And so in order for it to end, it, that's the destruction. It's got to go. Thank you, Eric. Sending love back, peace, power, and protection, y'all. But <clears throat> I came on here tonight, really, to let everybody know we fine. We made it out. That shit was crazy, though. It's like <clears throat> everything that they tell you, you know what I'm saying, in those survival books and stuff like that, about how they're going to do stuff and what would happen in the chaos and all of that stuff it, it was exactly like that yo it's exactly like that down there like y'all as we was driving coming here i was just assessing it and i've been i live in north carolina so i know what tornadoes are i've been in tornadoes i've been in hurricanes hurricane hugo irma i can name a couple big ones that i've been through and I'm going to just say this. <clears throat> when I was in my house, I was actually going live. I, I actually went live a couple of one or two times. You understand? Like, I was in my bubble of protection. And I honestly, I'm telling y'all the truth. Like, even though the wind was going crazy and stuff like that, like, it just did not seem... <clears throat> that all of that death and destruction was going on around us. It was almost like I was just having a good time. Like, I'm for real. Like, I felt so much energy. Like, I'm for real. Like, I'm not lying. Like, even still now, my eyes still kind of glow a little bit. You understand? Some of this is the candle, like, refracting. But, like, y'all saw me in the pitch black. Like, you could feel the energy it, it it didn't i wasn't afraid you understand what i'm saying and it was just like <clears throat> when i came out my house and i really went out it was when i first got a real breath for how serious it came through there bro some people gone from here i knew they was gonna be gone like this the way it's gotta go but it, it, knowing it and seeing it is still you understand what I'm saying like for me it's almost like when you see stuff in advance that's what I call it or whatever you however whatever they want to call it when you see stuff like this like I already seen it I already know I was going to go through some shit I'm going to go through way more than this because I already done seen it 
but then when you experience it you know you kind of get the deja vu feeling so i had a bunch of deja vu like over them days and like even before helen came before i i felt it coming like me and my daughter i'm like something finna happen something finna happen something finna happen I say self-love consciousness. Yes, I'm outside of that timeline. So when you outside of time, you understand time don't exist. So everything done already occurred. <clears throat> and it was just wild, y'all. Like, it's just wild. And so now we in Columbus. And so, you know, I got ties to the Muskogee and stuff. Like, I got family here in Alabama and stuff like that. And I hadn't been here since I was about six. And so it was just like when we was headed up the Conway to try to evacuate, it was just like obstacles was in our way. We were stuck in traffic. Like it took us four hours to get there. Usually it'd take about an hour and a half or two, you know, and just wasn't nothing going right. Like we was trying to check in the hotels that we had reservations in. All of a sudden the reservations was canceled. You know, and I was just like, everything was hard, you know, and I got out the car, you know, at one point, you know, because I was just frustrated and I was like, bro, we're going to have to probably drive around Atlanta and go to Alabama that way. That's what I was thinking. So I got out the car and I just walked for about 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Just breathing, you know, taking everything in and then... After I got done um, breathing, hey, Bree, I um, got back in the car, and I, I told my daughter, I was like, they said that, uh, you know, since I'm a Hilton Honors member, it's hotels in Conway, and my, I mean, over on Conway, and my daughter was like, yeah, uh, it's a Spring Hill Suites over there, and they got 10 rooms available. I was like, great, let's go. What? Oh, here, here's some, um, hold on, I'm talking to my daughter. Here's some, um, spray. They got spray there. That's killing the little, uh, mm. ends, mosquitoes. I got here. this right here. If you want to light this up, you can light that. If you need light over there, that can light, um. That lights up? Yeah, this lights up. Hold on, y'all. I'm just oh, setting up the. Up. Yeah, that's what's up. I think it's something in there. It's got to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leave it right there. We'll buy some more tomorrow. My daughter light the fire out here. But anyway, well, now y'all can see me real good. So y'all see I'm alive. All right. So my daughter was like, it's a it's a bug flying there. You might want to come this way because, you know, he going to go towards that. Um, he's right there, honey. He's oh, gonna go towards no, that. Hearing, no, I'm not worried about the bullet. I thought I was hearing something clicking. Oh, shit. I don't know about that. <clears throat> I'm good. You yeah. share this company, yeah. too. Yeah, you could use these ones, too, and sit that way. Right? Yeah, I gotta roll up. Yeah. Um, so what I was saying was, so she was like, it was 10 rooms available in Conway, um, at the Spring Hill. So I'm like, all right, great, let's go. You know, the lady told us that, and then Bree saw. So I'm like, okay, let's go. So we in the car, we driving, we happy. You know, the town bustling, y'all. Like everything within a 200 mile radius of us, it's no power, no power. Stuff flooded, trees is down. You know, people are banding together to help each other. But I did not see really no government officials or nothing like that helping the people out there other than when they made the announcement that they was dropping some water and some food after they cut our water off. I feel like this. They could have just cut our water the fuck back on. We didn't need no fucking water, and we didn't need food because Kroger and all of them was open. But we do. You could put our plumbing back. But anyway, I just got, you know, sidetracked. So we went to, we was headed to the Spring Hill, and so... I was having a nervous breakdown in the car with my daughter. She could tell you I was just having a nervous breakdown, bro, because it was just like it was a lot coming at me at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Like we just survived a catastrophic event and it was just really hitting me how catastrophic it was. Because like where we was at, y'all, our building 
is unfazed, okay? But as I assessed outside, even the buildings in our court, some of them had like roofing gone, shingles gone. Then you got people, houses, got trees on them, cars in the middle of the street that lost uh, gas, like people walking, just looking dazed, like it was bad but really where our court is you can't tell none of that it's just some twigs i'm telling you so i'm just like if you spiritually protected to a degree it ain't gonna matter where you at you're gonna be okay that's what i'm trying to tell you that's why i think the ancestors kept on telling me to let y'all know all throughout my journey of talking to y'all don't focus on nothing but ascending because ascending is all that got me sitting here talking to y'all today so anyway we was headed to the Spring Hill, right? We get off of the... I'm looking. I'm having a nervous breakdown in the car. Okay, our Wi-Fi be back on on the first. That's on, tomorrow. On the, so the Wi-Fi coming back on on the first tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. At the house. Yeah. So I'm looking up in the air, man. And I look up and I see this brown looking cloud hanging there but the way that it looked it looked like a fort cloud it looked like a tornado another tornado was coming so i'm like what the fuck is that like what the fuck is that you know what i'm saying like i'm like bro we can't be like in the middle of having a nervous breakdown i had to pause because i couldn't even have time to break down okay i'm like what the fuck is that and so i'm looking at Bree. like what the fuck is that i'm like is that a tornado i'm like how are we getting ready to get another tornado we just got hit so my heart beating but then i'm looking at the way the smoke hanging in the sky and i'm just keep on saying what the fuck is that because it looked like a chemical cloud as i'm looking at it because the way bromaldehyde what? chlorine and those type of gases move they like they just have a signature move in in air and if you a chemist or you ever been around them and you know that they're dangerous you know when you see them it's time to get the fuck out the way i mean if a bottle of that still in the lab everybody running okay like hazmat whatever gotta come in there you cannot fuck with that shit without a hood gloves all kind of um ppe it get on your skin it burn you and it's a known carcinogen you get bromide to hide on your hands you know you finna get cancer somebody could come on here and co-sign anybody who a scientist who deal with bromaldehyde raw chlorine all of that type of stuff you know how corrosive and stuff that stuff is like it's a killer you're not gonna live through it you going if you live through breathing it you're gonna die within a couple of weeks like them people up in palestine that they probably ain't talking about who lungs got burned so understand where i'm going with this so then i'm looking i'm like oh shit i'm like this look like a chemical cloud as i'm thinking this now this is all within probably maybe 30 seconds y'all of time i'm analyzing as i'm looking my daughter pull up off the exit soon as she pull up off the exit yo we could see the building we was that close to the building all of a sudden because the hotel is right there by the building like right not far all of a fucking sudden all you heard was boom 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 i was like holy shit I was like, breathe, because like soon, like the booms was rattling the car. Soon as the first mm -hmm. boom, all you saw was like this red fucking, first it was like this white smoke. I knew it was toxic gas. I ain't have to have nobody tell me that that was no motherfucking chemical plant. I ain't even know bio lab was there. When I saw it, I was like, Bree, hit the gas. We got to get out of here right now. As I'm saying that the cloud is like doing this. And then I'm looking in the rear view. We stuck at the light because all of these cars is sitting there at this fucking bridge to get on the exit, get back on. And they ain't paying no fucking attention. And I'm like, bro, you ain't feel your car just vibrate. You ain't seeing this big ass plume. So we blowing the horn, my daughter hollering. And so then I rolled down the window and I'm pointing 
they still not moving. I'm like, Bree, you just got to take it. So we went in oncoming traffic, y'all. Motherfuck it. You got to do what the fuck you got to do if you want to live and some shit like that. So when we went into the oncoming traffic, everybody stopped and we just bust the turn. And then as we was doing it, I think a guy who was in the front of the lane finally saw that plume coming. And then it was just like everybody yo it was like a car wreck on the bridge because everybody just was like trying to you know what i'm saying but we was in front man we was fucking getting it y'all you could look in your rear view and i mean you could literally see the cloud like coming and like going up and it was like getting purple that shit started turning purple i was like my god please just get us out of here bro because i knew if we breathed any of that like I knew it was over and so I just remember seeing the people on the highway and when I looked over at them I was just like my god on the other side because like right as we was getting out of there that's when the police started blocking off I-20 and like so we was hitting it yo and so the officer was coming up on the bridge on one of the other overpasses trying to direct the traffic to go back around to come our way and he saw the plume and like I was just looking at him as we was driving because it was just like and he was looking and the way he was looking he was just like I was like man I ain't never had my heart go out for no first responder y'all because I done always had fuck shit happen with the police but that man didn't run and you know what Don't nobody deserve no shit like that, bruh. And all jokes to the side, you know, people get up here and try to make it about race, try to make it about Democrat, Republican, motherfuck that. Every race, creed, Democrat, Republican race was out there, religion was out there, motherfucker, when they bust that gas on us, motherfucker. And all them people in hell, that shit, it didn't matter what color they was. Everybody got the fucking button pushed on them that day, okay? Even they motherfucking race soldiers got the button pushed on them that day, motherfucker. Everybody that was out there briefed that shit in and, and days is getting ready to be numbered. So all this goddamn bullshit about division, this, that nigga, they finna kill, they trying to kill every fucking body. It ain't no selection, motherfucker, as to who finna fucking go. They push the buttons on that whole fucking town. Ain't nobody getting ready to tell me, as nobody who works in the lab with hazardous materials, number one, that no fucking sprinkler system went off and caused no chlorine gas to fucking explode because if you have chlorine gas which is flammable it is in a flammable motherfucking container you can kiss my ass i know this for facts it has to be shipped in that you cannot ship chlorine without a fire um target um container because it's reactive to oxygen and it's reactive to a sprinkler. Number two, you couldn't have it in a room with a sprinkler system with water. I went and looked that up today to make sure. You would not even have that type of stuff in a sprinkler. Why would you have a sprinkler system with water in the same room that you have a toxic hazardous gas that's reactive to water? Do that make sense to anybody on here? Number three, you're going to tell us that you had the fire. The fire was burning from 5 a.m. that morning, you guys. Okay, how many people was evacuating the Conway? How many hotels oh, wow. was filling up with reservations? I know that's right. Let's go. I'm in the state where they approve. Okay. 
how many people y'all let come there when y'all knew it was a chemical motherfucking fire burning that y'all didn't have contained because if something broke containment that means that you didn't have it contained or out in the first place who the fuck confirmed that it was out because obviously it wasn't out and obviously it wasn't confirmed and now you trying to tell me a sprinkler system caused this we missed the confirmation and then when y'all send a fucking alert that the shit exploded motherfucker it's already done exploded on us bitch In the only motherfucking town with power for 200 fucking miles where everybody's evacuating to. Now I was born, motherfucker, but I wasn't born yesterday, goddamn day. It wasn't enough when that power went out. Because motherfuckers from the south used to go on without power, nigga. We was up in there fine with our water breathe. Weren't we fine with the water? I was fine. We had, but well, look, we could have thugged it out. As long as you had water, you good, baby. We could have thugged it out. We had everything we needed. Take you a cold shower at night? Cool yep, off. to take you a shower at night, cool off, open up the windows. We was good. Everybody in that court was, everybody was good till they hit the water. And then, uh, as a, and right as y'all hit the water, and y'all know everybody coming up to Conway and Madison, that's when y'all explode the plan. Come on. Come on, y'all. It's too much stupid shit that's apparent. Another thing that's apparent that's fucked up. Like I said, it wasn't no National Guardsmen or nothing out there immediately. Like, what the fuck is you and my tax dollars going towards? Ukraine and them? Bitch, I sat up in a house. Up in my house. And I could look over and see a whole army base lit up like a Christmas tree in the middle of December. Bitch, that's my tax dollars. You couldn't brought one of them generators over there, one of them big-ass government generators over there to help us out, bitch. But you think I'm finna give you another motherfucking red cent of my motherfucking money so you could send it to Ukraine or push the button on me, bitch. Yeah, that water really gonna be messed up. You know they fucking with the water, um, um, little while. You know... Stead, man. Matter of fact, when they cut our water, now all they sending the people is all of these boil water notices and shit. Boil water notices. Y'all, that shit was bromide, chlorine, and all kind of shit in the air. It rained. That rain is going to go into the water shelf, right? We got to look right now because we need to make sure that we ain't down because we going to be downstream of anything. So we got to see what the fuck. Like these people don't poison the water, y'all. Look. <clears throat> Listen. Some stuff is just divine order. Okay. The natural disasters is going to happen. What they call in the natural disasters is going to happen. That's just Tiamat re-terraforming. I've been told people long time ago to get the fuck somewhere where at least you got multiple routes of exit oh my God. it's not gonna be a situation where anybody is going to not go through something this finna be an earth storm everybody finna go through something the key is you just want to be in a place where you got options to escape or get what you need supplies and stuff like that that's why we chose augusta because it's a high point and it's multiple routes of escape. And as you've seen, some shit went down. Shit flooded. All kind of crazy shit. We didn't flood because it's a high point. And then, even though they got multiple roads out of there blocked off now. I-20 blocked off. You can't even get through there. Fire 20 blocked off. You can't even get up through there. We still can get out. And that's what's going to be important. Can you get out? Do you have clean water and do you have a means of a communication to know what the fuck going on around you? Those was the three things I think we needed the most. Wasn't it, Bree? Mm -hmm. Communication. We needed to make sure we had communication, water, 
And what was the other thing that was really apparent? Gas. You need gas. Yeah, gas was apparent, but it was something else I just said. I think I forgot. But look, <clears throat> you got to be ready. You got to be ready to hunker down if you have to. You know, if you might get in a situation where you can't get out and they cut your water, they're going to cut your water. Trust me, they cut our water after the shit had passed not it, the water was fine y'all and then they started cutting fucking information first they cut the water then they gave us a curfew or was the curfew before the water i can't remember no the curfew <clears throat> was um before the water yeah so they gave us a curfew then in the middle of the night after they said they wasn't going to cut our water. We had water for, what, two days? And then they cut our water. Yeah. In the middle of the night. And now they cut our Wi-Fi. But they saying that's going to be back on tomorrow. So they cut communication. They cut the power, water, communication in that order. And that's about the order that this book that I wrote, I read. It's called um, Picking Up the Pieces. I don't even think it's in print anymore, but it was by a lady in Sarajevo um, who had collected stories from people who had mm -hmm. survived, like, military disasters, war, stuff like that, coops and stuff like that. And it gave, you know, survivalist tips and it told, like, how you know they're getting ready to implement martial law or different stuff like that. And when I say they went through that playbook, y'all, they went straight through that playbook, bruh. So I'm going to just tell you like this. If you're in a situation and you see them chips starting to fall, you need to be making plans for what you getting ready to what move you got to make. That thing good, ain't it? Shoot, that thing lit up the whole earth. But all right, y'all. So I just wanted to let y'all know I'm okay. I'm here with my daughter. <clears throat> Peace, power, and protection. And, you know, the ancestors be on us. So we always going to be divinely protected. And oh, I just wanted shit. to let y'all know that, you know, that we safe. We made it. I'm getting ready to, you know what I'm saying, like this little nug. Y'all know I got me a little nug. I'm getting ready to blow that mug because I need to blow something, bruh. Because it's still been a tough one. Bruh. They had me on the ropes, bruh, y'all. They had me on the ropes. I had to pull out my Ali Bumbaye on they ass, boy. <laughs> A nigga had to break fast, y'all. Sometimes you gotta break fast. That's what I'm saying, like, y'all. I have, Susan. I really have. You understand, like, the Matrix really been testing my gangster. But you know what? Ain't that life? Ain't that life? Ain't that life? Ain't it gonna test us? Ain't that life? Excuse me. You know, you just gotta roll with what it give you. That's what I be doing, y'all. You know. I ain't hanging on to nothing. And I'm just going with where the ancestors sent me and knowing that I'm divinely protected. Have y'all read where people missing after the hurricane? I haven't, but I heard it's over a thousand people missing. It's a lot of people missing and they just said that the Georgia death toll just shot up sharply because I think they just found some more people. They said the death toll in Georgia shot, shot up sharply. Remember, yeah, they was only saying Listen, it was 18 people. Let me tell y'all something. They a lie. It's so many people dead that they not reporting right. They let just me tell said you. Asheville's cut off from the uh, from everybody. It's At, not just Asheville cut off, yo. It's all of them mountain um cities and towns up there. Listen, I'm from the Carolinas. It's a lot of little towns duffed off up there in the mountains. And right when I heard that. That rain, at first they said it was just going to be a, a tropical storm. was supposed to hit the mountains. That ain't never happened in the history I ever remember of a tropical storm even ever being to hit some mountains. Hurricane nothing, okay? Because the mountain's supposed to break that shit up. 
and then it reorganized oh after it get over the mountain. They saying this shit gonna break apart. Part of it gonna hit Texas and the other part finna hit Florida. Well, mom, well, it is what it is. I told you it was gonna be twin cyclones, Bree. I'm talking about uh, the one that's down there. Remember, I told you I was seeing two twins. If it break apart, wouldn't that be a twin? So what they saying? Part of it finna hit the one in New Mexico. They saying it's the one that's gonna break apart. One is gonna go west, and, and one, one gonna, gonna hit towards east. east. Yeah. And then they saying that Florida might possibly the east side of Florida is gonna get hit again mm -hmm. with tropical storm depression twelve that just came up behind Joyce. Man, Ocean ain't playing. I had told my daughter that Georgia was going to be a new coastline. I mean, yes, the number is way more than they saying in the Western Carolinas. You got Tennessee, I think that's got whole towns flooded. Parts yeah. of Kentucky, Georgia got places flooded. And Atlanta Georgia flooded. got Atlanta. Look at what happened over there by Six Flags. Literally, a lady was in her house, my daughter told me, and she woke up, and she was in one of them big Atlanta houses with, like, the three stories. God bless her. Because the water was all the way up to the third story. They had to come helicopter rescue that lady from her balcony. So think about the people who didn't have three stories that was in her neighborhood. They dead. Y'all, people dead. They just not reporting it. They don't want to report this disaster and catastrophe until after that fucking election. That's when you're going to find out the real death toll. But I'm living a living witness right now. I know it's more people than 18 dead in Georgia, nigga. All them fucking tornadoes. Y'all, I ain't never seen nothing like it in all my life. Y'all, it looked like. It looked like heaven's fury opened up over Georgia, okay? Everywhere a tornado could fit, that motherfucker dropped. I ain't never seen destruction like that. And I'm not over-exaggerating neither. Yeah, that's big, go straight across. Big trees that was, mm. man, probably here. Man, I know them trees 500 years old. They was here after the last um, big-ass thing that happened. Everybody saying the same thing. What? It ain't gonna hit us. It's gonna go straight across. Well, I let it. I, I'm not holding no favors for nobody. I already told people the shit was finna get drastic to get from them coasts. I told people to leave Florida and Texas long ago. Bruh, shit. I'm up here in Georgia and I'm hanging on, but bitch, at least I'm hanging. Bruh, some shit like, I'm going to tell you straight up. Some shit like this hit Florida, hit South Florida, bruh, you done. Ain't no way. All them tornadoes, bruh, hit South Florida somewhere down there, bruh. No way. No fucking way. Man, it had to be at least a hundred cyclones hit just Georgia, nigga. Man, breathe. I mean, everywhere we look, it was another tornado signature, man. It just looked like... <laughs> I don't know. But I know this. If they telling you a hurricane coming, a depression, a storm, any fucking thing out the traffics coming your way, get the fuck for fuck fuck from any coast definitely get the fuck for fuck for fuck from any dams get inland if you can't get out of the cone or, and I mean about 200 miles out the cone cause we was 150 miles outside the cone and the bitch wobbled they don't know which direction these hurricanes or whatever they call the hurricanes is really finna go y'all okay we got a new Neo in orbit we got a new Comet in orbit we got Planetary bodies in orbit. Planetary bodies affect what? Uh, the ionosphere. And it also affects what? The ocean currents. Tides. Tsunamis getting ready to be apparent. You got twin moons. Remember the Hopi told us about this? When you see the two moons. And the red dawn. Yeah, he's saying the same thing too now. Okay. I feel good. Woo! I'm sorry, y'all, but I, I don't want to get hit again. 
I'm not gonna laugh at nobody, Bree, because it's still shit coming in November, for real. That shit's serious, y'all. It's apparent and it's serious. If some shit coming your way, you better get the fuck from fuck. If you want to live. Because these motherfuckers is not going to warn you. And you're going to be like them people in Big Ben. Or our motherfucking P. I'm telling you right now. Don't fuck around and find out. That water moving. The way that water moving. You're not going to have a chance. You're not going to have a chance. The way that mud moving, you're not going to have a chance. It ain't going to, it's going to be an unsurvivable situation. Period. If you're ready to ascend, hell, ain't nothing wrong with it. Go on and ascend. Be in your glory. I'm just telling you straight up. If you're ready for your program to end, be in some of them places when that shit come and see what happens. Because a lot of people's program done ended, y'all. It's a lot of people gone from here, y'all. That's all I'm saying. This is not fear. This is not none of that. This is just straight up black and white so people can know what's going down so you know what you're dealing with. And then you make your choice accordingly, whichever way you want to roll with it. Lean with it, rock with it. You understand with it? You understand, you know, I'm here and I'm telling you, wherever you is, you're going to be spiritually protected. That To a degree, I believe that. But I also believe the Great Mother gives you knowledge and insight and stuff, too, to know to get the fuck for fuck. The earth re-terraforming, y'all. Literally right now as we speak. And it's getting ready to be more and more. I know something to happen on the 5th. I know it. Don't be distracted, y'all. Stay dangerous, y'all. Stay spiritually protected. Man, Helen had to be at least a Category 3, but this is the whole point, y'all. Listen to me. The Carolinas didn't even take a direct hit. And they, un look what happened to them. They didn't even take the direct hit. They was getting the bands. Listen, y'all. These people lying. I was sitting there, I was watching Ryan Hall, y'all, as the thing, as as Helen was out, still on the water by Big Ben, or what was the Stein, whatever, she by Perry, okay? I was literally watching the storm chasers out there bullshit, and I was like, this motherfucker finna get blowed the way I said it to Bree. He did, too. But anyway, and when we was looking at it, y'all, it was still on the water, and it was putting tornadoes down in five different states all at once. I ain't never seen nothing. Like, how can a hurricane be in the Gulf and the Atlantic at the same time and on land, but the eye not on land? Y'all, the eye was not on land. The eye was in the water, shimmying like this. She was wobbling, leaning with it, rocking with it, getting more strength. And all of them, man, it was the biggest. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Tornadoes was everywhere. And we didn't even know it because, look, our power, it was calm out there. Wasn't it, Bree? Like, yo, we was watching power. I had talked to Oya. I'm for real. I be having a relationship with Oya. I was like, Oya, please, just let us watch power because I want to see what happened with Tariq. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, so if the power got to go. <laughs> I was like, if the power got to go, let me get through power. And we did. And then we got through Ryan Hall. And we saw all the tornadoes touching down all over Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina. They was all around us. Before we laid down, I was like, Bree, it's a tornado in Aiken. She was like, oh, that's right there. Literally, they was all around us, y'all. We went and laid down. When we woke up at 5, that was when the hurricane was there. But all of the fucking tornadoes, we slept through that shit, y'all. Bring bloody, and maybe let's just turn back to the west on that second one. So it's another one, bro. We gonna watch that and see what it do. And we gonna go from there, tribe. 
Yeah, it's bad. Aiken, it's, man. Yeah, it's crazy. It's gonna take them years. Yeah, it's gonna take them years to recover, y'all. They bullshit. Yeah, it's gonna take them years to recover. Yeah, it's gonna take them years to recover, y'all. They bullshit. It's billions of dollars of damage. It's so many trees down. It's so many power lines down, y'all. And then what they not talking about is all them old people, people that's on dialysis and stuff, that what's going to happen to them? Refrigerated medicines, you know, people that's on insulin and stuff. They don't talk about all of them deaths that's as a result of it. It might not have happened when that storm come, but as a result of the storm. So, what I'm just saying to you all is greetings, greetings, dollars, naturals. It's just be prepared. Stay ready, then you ain't got to get ready. Ain't that what I always tell y'all? Stay ready, then you ain't got to get ready. Stay ready, then you ain't got to get ready, okay? I-40 closed. I-40 which way? West or... <laughs> of course it's closed. You can't go through Asheville. You can't go through none of that no more. I-40 go right through Asheville, all of that yeah, Pilot Mountain. Fine. You can't go through there. They say whole bridges washed away. Y'all, listen, when they get the death toll out of North Carolina and they get it for real, it's going to be catastrophic. Look, some of them people that's under that um dirt ain't never but ain't never coming out. They just gonna build over them like they did our ancestors. I'm telling you right now, you done literally witnessed a mud flood and more is getting ready to come. More are getting ready to occur. This is what occurs every time. Every shift. This just the beginning. Y'all ain't seen shit. This ain't nothing. I'm in land for a reason. And I'm we gonna be taking hits. But I mm, at least we gonna survive them nigga. Some places, some areas just getting ready to take a hits. I ain't nothing gonna be able to survive. Like what happened down in Perry? Unsurvivable event. Ain't nothing down there alive that was there. <clears throat> Potentially three more coming back to back. No, it's not a land grab. Well, it is a land grab. It's a land grab back. Because all them towns that got destroyed is sundown towns. Do you understand now? Do you understand now? That's fine. They grab back up in November, but I have my jeep back by What to be in November? They're talking about there's more hurricanes that are coming up. Yeah. It's a land grab back. It's a cleansing of the land. Sundown towns. My fiance got killed in Perry, Florida. And so did a lot of melanated men and women. One thing I can say that's true. <clears throat> no debt will ever go unpaid. All right. All right, so you guys, I'm finna go because I'm finna chill with my daughter a little bit, catch up on some events and stuff like that. But I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know we here, we good, and y'all stay dangerous, stay spiritually protected, okay? And uh, oh, who done lost something? Hold on, who done lost something? I ain't see that part. I see somebody saying sorry for your loss. Who done lost something? Woo. Mm. 
I hope you mm. job bless job bless mm. Mm -mm. y'all stay dangerous though oh me I ain't lost nothing my house intact oh my fiance yes All right, y'all. Well, you stay dangerous, stay spiritually protected, stay ascendant, and you'll be good, okay? You'll be fine. You might get a little scared. You might be a little scared. You know what I'm saying? Heart might do a little. But just know the ancestors got you always. And you ain't got nothing to worry about. Nothing. Okay? All right. Peace, power, protection, y'all.